you folks just expanded your API security capabilities. Talk a bit about what's new in this release and why is it such a critical update for organizations? Yeah, we announced a couple of things actually, um, uh, all pretty awesome. Um, so I'll go into uh, you know one by one, but one of the big things that we announced is they managed uh, service for API security. And that's the most comprehensive uh, managed service built specifically for APIs. And it combines real-time monitoring and expert response. And we even give you guidance or, you know, to help uh, organizations and enterprises catch threats early and cut API risk. So that's number one. Number two, super proud of this one, compliance dashboard. Um, this is a, an awesome feature in our solution and think of it like a compliance hub. Um, and it gives uh, security and compliance teams like a centralized view of everything uh, compliance related. So you can check how your APIs stack up against key security and privacy uh, standards um, like um, PCI DSS and GDPR and DOOR, and there's 10 of them or so. Uh, and it makes audits uh, easier and reduces compliance risk. And the third one, which I personally think is kind of a game changer um, because um, it's all around finding APIs in code, right? So we now let security and development teams scan code repos like your GitHub um, and find API specifications and code and you look at code itself to spot risks in APIs before they ever get deployed, before they ever generate traffic. So it's all, you know, pretty awesome and kind of three different things, but all very, very important. The release, as you mentioned, talks about kind of eliminating visibility gap from code to production. Mm -hmm. uh, can you break that down for us? What does that actually look like in practice for teams? And uh, mm -hmm. also, has this been a tough challenge for security team to solve? If yes, why? And once again, going back to how does it work? So the key thing I think to understand about you know this particular capability is that the number one way for you to uh, you know kind of understand and build your inventory of APIs um, has been from traffic, right? And so what traffic gives you is what I would call symptoms, right? You you see vulnerabilities in traffic, but what developers actually want. It, they want the root cause, right? Issues in the code itself. So now that we can scan the code and we can actually map, you know, what we see in the traffic to the repository and then the line of code and even the owner uh, of the API, that gives you that, that visibility that you need, right? So not only you get to discover, you know, all the APIs you have, external, internal, uh, uh, dormant, undocumented, you know, you name it, but you also find out APIs that might not be uh, generating traffic, that might be not going through your WAFs or, or API gateways, or you know maybe they're not even protected uh, yet by your API set solution. Um, and you drastically, drastically reduce mean time to remediation, right? Because you don't just, you know, security doesn't just, you know, throw the issue over the fence to the developers and say, hey, you go fix it. Now we give you the context, like what is wrong? what you need to do to fix it and where to find the problem and, and so in my opinion like this is how you get to that next level of DevSecOps and you build better communication between security teams and the development teams and by the way fixing issues you know uh, in code that closer to the development closer to the source is so much faster and cheaper uh, than doing it uh, in production so that that's basically the, the gold mine, right? You you get full visibility and you get to see you have the, the issue. Oh, that's where I fix it. That's where it is. 